Hello, Aries. I hope you guys are doing well. This is Alex Angel, and I am here to bring you your dun -da -da -da, love and romance tarot and oracle card reading. I have introduced two new readings per month. Uh, one is love and relationships. The other one is love and romance. The love and relationships focuses more on the relating part of relationships. Love and romance has to do with the emotional part and you know, any kind of blocks or, you know, what are those things that are keeping you from loving your partner or giving or receiving love in general. This reading is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or anywhere else that you may have Aries in your chart. Although it's being published in April of 2020, this reading is timeless and may resonate at any given moment in time. Uh, as always, please check the descriptions for any kind of handy dandy information related to the reading or my page. And then if this video, uh, this reading does resonate, please feel free. I'm going to put that one there because they came out together. Um, if this video does resonate, uh, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, come on, subscribe already. Um, and if you are subscribed and want notification as to when I upload videos, go ahead and hit that bell to receive your notification. Just to let you know, I'm using Gilded Tower and Gilded Tarot and my standard rider weight. The top line represents you. The bottom line represents your lover or love or what's stopping you from giving and or receiving love. Um, and at the end, I'm going to pull three romance angel tarot cards for, you know, just that final advice, loving advice from angels in the universe. Okay, so Aries, what do we have? We have the King of Cups, right? And we have the Knight of Cups, okay? You have three knights showing. So somebody is wrecked to love, okay? Now, if I was reading this for somebody else, I'd be like, whoa, slow down. But because it's you, Aries, I know why the hell I got these three knights on my table. Okay, because Aries don't do nothing slow. Aries is to, Aries is just like charges forward. Aries is the ram. Aries is like, look, we got to G-O. Okay, you as the king of cups. And it's crazy because like I said, um, you know, these two guys came out together. And forgive me because I may kind of go around and round. But you as this king of cups, I feel like this is embodying who you are. If it's not you, it could be your person. Okay, now, this means that, to me, what I'm getting intuitively is that, for some reason, your heart is open, Aries. And, hoo-ha, that is amazing and awesome. Because, Aries, you are one of those signs where every now and then we have to stick a stethoscope up to your chest to see if the, your heart is beating. Okay, you guys tend to be really, really, really freaking stoic. Okay, even to those people that you love, it takes you a long time, maybe even to show or express love to that person. But deep down inside, you're bubbling, right? You're bubbling, you're bubbling, you're bubbling, you know, um, with love and emotion, which is wonderful and great. Okay. I feel as though for some of you too, this could be somebody who you just met. Right, because the king is here in two positions, kind of not necessarily alpha and omega, beginning and end, but it's near the end, right? So I kind of feel like whatever it is that you are out there, you know, kind of giving out and putting out, putting out there in the world, um, you're absolutely going to get back if you have not gotten it back already. Okay, so this is law of attraction, hard at work. Anytime now that I see a card on the top and it's well, one is on the bottom, but not just on the bottom, but it on the bottom closer to the end, to me, that's law of attraction. And to me, that is manifestation like a motherfucker. Okay. So um, I feel like it's definitely, um, it's it's what you're giving, giving out there. What angels just said to me too, is like, you're now looking for a significant love to be a part of your life, Right. 
I don't know what you've been doing up until this point. Probably just living and, and laughing and loving and being free and chilling with your friends and maybe have a hobby, have a great ass damn career. But it feels like at least for right now, where love and romance is concerned, Aries, I almost even dare to say you're thinking or feeling like you're wanting to settle down right? You're now starting to wonder and think of yourself like in this particular relationship. Now, I also will say to you at the same time, again, acknowledging that, that there are three freaking knights sitting right in front of me, looking at me in my damn face. Slow down, okay? Because I do kind of get that, you know, Aries definitely has that caveman mentality where it has something and it's like, oh, oh, can't, you know, like you tend, you want, you want a response. You want you know, um, results. And unfortunately the way you go about getting results could be abusive and harsh and forceful, right? So you potentially could force a result, right? But you know, it, it may be short lived, right? You may get it and then it leaves just because of your method. Okay. So be careful about again, that, that just, ah, can't frustrate it. Need open now. Be very careful about that, okay? Here, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> the banging and neat open. Anyway, um, you got to be also too. Um, you have to open up, right? The Four of Pentacles is that sign that shows that yes, you're clenching things and holding things close to your chest express more of how you feel and what you want. You don't necessarily have to do it to a particular person, which I think is here, which is why you tend to be very, very, very careful about it. You know, you're kind of quote unquote tight lipped about what you want, right? What you want, what, what'll make you happy, what's best for you, things of that nature. I could hear some of you saying, yeah, I don't really ever talk about it because it's like jinxing it or it won't happen if you talk about it. And, and by the way, you're absolutely right, especially if you're talking it, talking about it to somebody who doesn't have your best interest at heart. Like if you're talking about it to a hater, oh, you're damn real. It's going to be jinxed because of the hater's energy and say, for instance, the little spit that they may put on it. Okay. But just because you're not telling it to another person, angels, God, and universe are like, well, tell it to us. We want to hear Right. Not only that, but the more you tend to open up to absolutely entities that you can trust. Right. The more you start to practice opening up when that person does come along, you won't be so defensive. You won't be so investigative. You won't be so, you know, kind of detailed and trying to like pick and poke and try to figure out why, you know, why do you want to know? Well, what are you going to do with this, this information once I give it to you? OK, you won't be so, you know, kind of hell bent on, you know, kind of investigating why they may need or why they may want the information. That's the other thing, too, that angels are saying to me, too, for you, Aries. People need your love. People need your information. If you tell somebody to have a good day, their whole world will light up. People need that from you. But I think where Aries is concerned, you got you guys are like, why? Like, you know, that's not going to make a difference. Just me doing this, it's not going to make a difference. And I'm here to tell you, yes, the hell it will. Okay. So it, there are times when you think that you know which way to go, which is why this figure is blind. Because the, you see that the, the blindfold on their eyes is illuminated, right? Meaning spiritual eye, God's eye, right? You're blind to that. Okay, definitely in some cases, Aries, you are definitely blind to that, right? So that is something God, angels, and universe is saying to you, dude, do that, chicks, dude, let it go. Let it go and let it out. You may think you know, right? You may think you know and previous experiences might have shown you, yeah, things kind of might have went awry or you might have put stuff out there. You might have planted your seeds and got weeds back. It's because to an extent, right, whatever you think you know, the options that you think you have, the the um, paths that you think you will take, it's, it's not accurate. It's not true. 
So in this case, it's almost like trying to make a, a blind decision, not necessarily knowing what lies ahead. Honey, that's all that life is about, is this great ginormous unknown, okay? And to take it to a scientific um, stance, hell, 96% of our known universe is exactly that, unknown. So unknowns are a part of life. They are a part of creation. They are a part of the universe, Aries. Unfortunately, you can't know everything, okay? That's what faith is for. That's what God is for. That is what angels are for, okay? Now, with the seven of pentacles, you got two sevens here, right? The sevens are like, you know, a reflection and assessment and knowledge, right? So this is you guys wanting to control, right? I want to control what happens. I want to control, you know, maybe, you know, who this person is, you know, I'm not going to let them take advantage of me. I'm not going to let them, you know, kind of waste my time. I'm not going to let them, you know, waste my energy. I don't have time for that. Boo boo. That is energy. Okay. And just again, to remind you guys, if you are in law of attraction and you put an intention out there, please God send me somebody who's beautiful, wonderful, and great. I'm tired of people wasting my time. Soon as you say that, something inside of you grows and the law of attraction is like, all right, I got it. They're like, all right, I got it. And then you bring it brings you body, it brings you somebody in based on that dominant emotion, right? And who's that person? Somebody great and wonderful who is going to waste your time. Okay. So for you, Aries, love and romance. I love that you are heading in the beautiful, wonderful amazing direction beautiful wonderful amazing direction three nights are on my table you are moving in a beautiful direction okay the knight of cups okay but just know that you will not always know where you're going and what is there once you get there okay you will not always know what you're getting into that's what vibes are for that's what intuition is for that's what the energy the spirit that lives inside of us is for okay so this card is saying go forward you know lovingly emotionally open happy hopeful okay knowing that love awaits if you look at this horse look at him he is getting the hell on okay the knights represent you know, rushing forward. They represent, this is a Knight of Cups, which represents moving forward quickly with your emotions. For you, Aries, I'm okay with this one here, which, which again, I'm okay that this is the only one on this top line, which is representing your energy. I'm completely okay with you saying, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get in the game. I'm completely okay with that. Okay. Now here, We'll talk about it when we get to it, okay? These two nights here, we'll talk about it when we get to it, okay? Now, guess what? You're a person, right? Somebody who's stable, who's somebody who's kind, somebody who's independent, who's about her shit, who, who is, is in it for the long run and for the long term, okay? I feel like that's who you want, but to an extent... I don't feel like that's who you present to this person, right? It's almost like, again, that whole open, you know, I want it, I want it now. This is who you want, but to an extent for some of you, you may not know how to treat her. You may not know what she wants. You may not know how to make her happy, which is why I think this guy fell out, okay? I think this, this pairing too, you know, is probably the best pairing in the tarot, right? Forget the king of pentacles because two people who are completely alike, right? It's not necessarily good in a lot of cases, okay? But these two guys here, it's like practicality, right? Stability and love, okay? Stab mature love, okay? Both are powerful. Both are necessary, okay? Now, again, looking at this spread, right? She's here, and the King of Cups is here, you know, kind of like sitting in between these two knights, right? The advice for you for love and romance, Aries, is to be careful about rushing forward with this love. Because the worst thing that you want to do, right? Because this is who you are, 
right? The King of Cups. This is this is what you got going on. The problem with rushing through with all of this love so quickly, all this passion, right? All that passion and all that force is that you don't want to scare anybody away, right? You don't want to scare anybody away. Now again, she ain't no chump. She's the queen of she's the queen of pentacles. So she's going to be there. She is going to be there. And look, there's the pairing again. She is going to be there. She is not going anywhere. The only person who can make her go anywhere is you if you rush in and you chase her off. Okay? So take your time. Go slow, Aries. Go slow. This <laughs> is weird because the slow night, which is the night of pentacles, is nowhere to be found. Okay? We know, again, this is a little unknown. This is a little weird. This is like new territory, right? It's new territory, but it will absolutely lead you to love, right? What's unfortunate for you, Aries, is that you are gonna get ha you're gonna have to get used to the unknown and being uncomfortable, right? I swear to you, you guys want to see, you guys want to see somebody get really, really, really uncomfortable. Put an Aries in a situation where they don't know something, right? They don't know something. They don't know why they're there. They don't know how long they're going to be there. And you will see squirming at its best, ladies and gentlemen, okay? So Aries, unfortunately, yes, you're, you're setting off into the unknown. I believe with my heart and my soul that this is absolutely what you want right? You're going to have to let go of certain things that were holding you back before. And those things that were holding you back before were your beliefs, right? You're, you're not really defensiveness, but your belief that you knew what was going to happen. You knew what was, what was, you know, what was going to be out there for you. You were not, you may be using your spiritual or your inner um, guidance system, right? And unfortunately, it landed you in, you know, kind of weird and funky situations where, yeah, in even some cases, you might have had to kind of like close up, clamp up just to protect yourself. Okay. But based on what I'm looking at here, love and happiness is right there. It's right there. And it's right there with this queen, right? It's right there with this queen, or it could be right there with this king. You know, again, energy is fluid, okay? It is right there, and it's waiting for you. The fool, the fool represents, right, new journeys, outlook, you know, going with the flow, la, la, la. You know, that's kind of what I feel like he's singing there, la, la, la. He's just going with the flow. Look at where he's at. He's right at the edge of that cliff. Keep yourself grounded. Make sure that you're not getting, you, that you're not sweeping your own self off your feet, Aries, okay? So, um, yes, as also being a part, you know, kind of venturing out into the unknown, make sure that both eyes are open, right? Make sure that both eyes are open and you're not blind to your own situation, right? That you see what's in front of you, that you see what's of value and what's not. You see what's what could be used and what's not. That you are assessing your situation where wherever you go and wherever you are, right? So yeah, you're going. One part is okay. Yes, I'm going into the unknown. The second part is okay. Let me not come up with these preconceived ideas or notions as far as what will happen and what will be. Okay. Third is okay. Now that I don't have these preconceived notions, let me still pay attention to where I'm at. Okay, these two guys here, you know, and look, the, what's under that is the, the page of swords. These three guys here, right? It's like the three musketeers, okay? Whereas be careful about forcing, right? You become uncomfortable and you're like, you know, need open, okay? And you destroy what it is you're just merely trying to open. Be careful about being so uncomfortable that you destroy your experiences, okay? Not only that, but you best not double back and try to, you know, leave, bounce, right? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, you got to stay uncomfortable, boo-boo. You got to be just like the rest of us, okay? You got to just deal with it and sit in that discomfort until the sun shines, until the sun comes out again, 
okay? Beware of um, chitter chatter. <laughs> the angels are saying, these are the voices in your head. <laughs> angels are saying, hey, don't you dare try to talk yourself out of this, right? Because again, we don't want you getting into that, you know, mindset of, okay, well, I know what's going to happen, so I'm not going to do anything. All no, all no, Aries, you're not going to check it out and then, you know, just kind of get nervous and afraid because you can't control the situation and, and leave. You can't, you can't, you got to sit there. And again, if you do, that's your reward. If you do, the person that you went into this with, you will come out of this as, and this will be your reward. This will be your reward. All right. That is your main reading, Aries. That was a good one. Look at the time. I enjoyed that one. Um, let's pull three romance cards. Romance angels cards. Typically, these cards just have been confirming what I, what angels have just been talking about. So let's see, um, for love and romance, Aries, what else God Angels Universe has for you? I love this reading, guys. I just got carried away. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Okay? This is your time in the unknown. Okay? For those of you who are in relationships, you could have separated from them or especially with the quarantine going on, you guys might be separated and that could have you majorly uncomfortable. Please understand, know, and know that this is a growth period, okay? It doesn't mean that there's not love. It doesn't mean this person doesn't love you. It doesn't mean um, this separation is basically symptomatic of how the person feels about you. It just may be a little rest stop in the universe that just says, to all of us, hey, you know, take a break for a minute. Hey, sit down, stay in place for a minute, okay? Next card, Aries, upside down. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Wow, I didn't see that one coming. But that, to me, makes sense with what everything else that's on this table, right? Your discomfort with the unknown you know, may cause you to cling to unnecessary situations or situations you shouldn't be a part of in the first place, right? Um, that blind logic or that dumb logic saying to you, oh, well, you know, there's nothing out there for me. Or if I meet somebody, I'm still going to have to deal with this stuff over again. So let me just stay with the person that I have. Um, that mentality will, you know, destroy you, destroy your relationship and kill any kind of romance that could be um, a part of that. These cards are upside down. Oh, nice. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So for those of you who are separated, y'all will get back together because this person is the one. Um, the other thing, too, that I just received was, you know, in order for you to find the one, you have to be the one. Okay? Okay. In order to find the one, you have to be the one. And that's law of attraction. If you want it, you got to be it. Okay? So, if you are separated um, to heal from codependency, don't worry because uh, the person who you are separated from is your person, right? Is your person the person you're meant to be with? Or for some of you, if you're separated and the separation causes a permanent separation, like a breakup, then I feel like the person after or the next person that you meet will be your person. So it's almost like you may have to heal. You may have to kind of clean out some old, you know, karmic debts um, in order to move into this new environment. You got a lot of movement. You got a lot of movement. You have some a strong presence. You have a strong female presence here. And I feel like she's not going anywhere. And it's crazy because that's not something I'm comfortable telling or saying, you know, that whole permanency because I understand our changing universe. But I feel like whoever this female presence is in your life, she's not going anywhere. I just don't want you to abuse her, to abandon her, to leave her. Um, which could be what you are healing from, which is causing depend uh, the codependency. Um, I don't want you to do those things to her because those things were done to you and that's all you know, okay? 
take definitely take your place as this king of cups and and love open your heart and love love on her love on him who whomever it is love the world give love and put love out into the world i don't want you going and trying hugging the planet or anything like that all right aries i hope that helps it was a long reading but like i said i just kind of got carried away with all this energy that was on the table all right guys i love you take care